Three Toad Steve and I out here we're taking a nice afternoon ride in Smyrna, Georgia. As you can see, the trees are starting to, uh, trees and bushes are starting to flower. We're in full blown spring here, and the weather has been pretty nice recently. Uh, we've had mild temps and, uh, and not an awful lot of rain. And I just missed this light, so we'll have to wait here just a second. But uh, this is the time of year when you really want to ride. I'm riding in just a hoodie and blue jeans. Nothing uh, too outrageous for the temperatures. Things are pretty good. And I uh, uh, hope I uh, saw a, a video today of, uh, forgive me, I can't remember. I'll try to put it up on the screen of someone having to, uh, uh, you get his snowblower out and was, was blowing his driveway. And I, I really feel for you, man. I really do. Uh, I don't know what it would be like to live up there and have so much snow and miss so much of the riding. But I do know also that you, you get the benefit. Some parts of up north are just absolutely, would make this place look like nothing uh, in, the, in certain times of the year, the spring and the summer. Uh, been to upstate New York before during the summertime and uh, it was absolutely incredible. Uh, everywhere we went was just gorgeous. And, uh, but of course you're under snow half the year, I guess up there, I don't know. But uh, anyway, uh, like I said, Steve and I just out having a good time and uh, just doing a little ride around, uh, not much else to do today. My lovely wife is off working. I think she's going to, uh, I think she went to Aruba today. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at the, look at the schedule, but I know she won't be back until about seven or eight tonight. So I've got some time to ride. Uh, her mother's been a little under the weather recently. And uh, any of you that know that have followed me for long enough, the reason I'm down here in Atlanta is to help look after her mom. And uh, she's been, she's had really good help recently, but, but uh, she's, uh, um, she's had a flare up of the gout. I don't know if you guys are familiar with gout. Uh, hopefully you've never had it, uh, but uh, her feet really swell up horribly and they're extremely painful and she literally can't walk. And uh, when you're, you know, in your 80s and you can't walk, that makes a huge difference. Uh, makes a huge difference in uh, uh, your health in general. You know, if she can't get out and move around, then things aren't going to work out. You know, she'll go she'll go downhill if she can't get uh, get her exercise in, get her walking in, things like that. But. Um, I don't know what this guy in front of me is doing. I think he wanted me to go around him, but every time he pulls over, there's nowhere for me to go. But uh, you know, he's got a good—he's got a good thought. You know, he's trying to let me by, but there's just nowhere here to go, unless he stops altogether. Okay, there we go. All right, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I don't know where he's going, but uh, hopefully he'll get there okay. But. Uh, so I've been trying to help look after her, and uh, I've got to go over there a little in a little while and see if she might want some supper. I've got to bring her bring her some supper tonight since my my wife is on her trip. She won't get in until after supper time, and check on her, make sure she's okay. But uh, most of the time in Atlanta, I've got uh, time to get out and ride and have a good time. And uh, you know, now that I got somebody to ride with me when my wife's working, you know, I won't be all by myself. I'm looking into, uh, we're going to get some gear for the sloth. I, I hate that he's having to ride squid right now, but, you know, actually I just don't have any gear for him. You'd be surprised how few helmet manufacturers offer sloth size. And uh, don't even ask me about a leather jacket. But, you know, we'll find something for him. Uh, he's in a pretty safe spot. Uh, I think I could actually lay this bike down and he wouldn't be hurt at all. But uh, he's been real quiet about it. He doesn't complain. That's, that's the thing about Steve. He doesn't complain. He takes it slow. You know, for him, time moves different for a sloth. You know, time, uh, you know, a whole day for me is like, you know, five minutes for him. You know, it, it's just like, you know, he goes, what, what? The sun was just, uh, was just up and now it's down. You know, so, you know, but that's just being Steve. You know, he, he lives the good life. He lives the better life than I do. He, he lives the kind of life that I always have aspired to, which is to be supremely confident, secure in my actions, deliberative in my actions, offensive to no one, no one hates me, love everybody, and just take it easy. I mean, that's, that's Steve here. That's the sloth. So, 
as you can see I'm heading back on to one of the main roads here and we're gonna head on back to the house just a little bit but I just thought I'd get on and show you what uh, springtime looks like here in Smyrna uh, went down some of the better roads you can see some of the flowers out people have been putting out in front of those apartments here some of the bushes and trees got a lot of trees that have not flowered yet but they will it's just a matter of time now uh, probably another week almost everything will have uh, will be leafed out and have some flowers on it but uh, it's a beautiful time of the year I really love the spring uh, it almost makes up for the winter time and gosh we had such a wet winter hopefully all that rain we got has put a lot of nutrients in the soil and uh, and we're gonna have just a, a fan damn tastic spring at least I hope so oh well tell you what you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later bye bye oh say goodbye Steve okay everybody out here I'm taking a little ride with my friend uh, three toed Steve here and uh, I was gonna tell Steve a joke about going into a bar about a guy who walked into a bar and Steve stopped me and he said you know uh, uh, sloths can't walk into a bar and I said they can't he said no no have you ever seen a you ever seen a sloth I said we, uh, we we're great in the trees but you put us on the ground and we and we crawl on our bellies like snakes and uh, I said well why would that keep you from going in a bar and he said well you know you crawl into a bar, you know, bartender's not really going to want to sell you anything else to drink. He pretty much figures you're already sloshed. So, uh, uh, so I don't hit bars too often. He said, I said, well, I can understand that. I said, so uh, I may be having to hit the liquor store for old Steve here. I don't know what he drinks. I'm probably a slow gin or something like that. I don't know. But uh, anyway, uh, he and I are just out enjoying a beautiful afternoon. And... Uh, Hope everybody else is having a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.